Hello children welcome back to story time with Miss Nidhi Today I am going to take you all on a very exciting journey and our journey's destination is going to be Mars Yes you heard me right Today we are going to read a wonderful story by Pratham Books about Mangalyaan and its journey to the Mars. So hop aboard on my spaceship and let's get ready to listen to this wonderful story today. If you look up at the sky on some clear night, you would see something that looks like a shining red star. That's the planet Mars. Ever since humans invented telescope, they always looked up at Mars and wondered, what is it like on Mars? Is there life on Mars? What do you think? Is there life on Mars? We can look at Mars from here and guess, but what if we can travel up to Mars and find out what's there? Mars is one of the nearest planet to the Earth in the solar system. However, if we have to drive to Mars, it's not that close. It would take us 1200 years to reach Mars. Even if we choose to fly to Mars in an airplane at its highest speed, then also it would take us 30 long years to reach Mars. Take a look at this. If the Earth was this big, the moon would be around somewhere here from planet Earth. And Mars would be somewhere there, over there. Uh, roughly around half a kilometer away. Cars and airplanes cannot take us to Mars. What we need our spaceship to reach up to Mars. Do you all know on November 5th in the year 2013, Indian Space Research Organization launched a spaceship that would travel up to Mars. The name of that spaceship was Mangalyaan and Mangalyaan carried no humans. Instead, it carried four very important instruments. And out of those instruments, one was a very powerful camera. And this camera was supposed to record all the important information at Mars. Mangalyaan had lots of challenges to reach up to Mars. However, the first and foremost important challenge was to cover the huge distance between planet Earth and the planet Mars. The first option was that Mangalyaan could have flied directly up to planet Mars. But in this process, since the distance was very long in the space, we would have required a lot of fuel for Mangalyaan to carry and reach to Mars. So the scientists at ISRO came up with a very creative idea. They decided to throw Mangalyaan up to Mars as if it is on a sling like this round and round and throw towards the planet Mars. In this case, Earth's gravity acted as a sling and Mangalyaan started orbiting around planet Earth. Then, Mangalyaan was put into bigger and bigger and bigger orbits around Earth by firing its engines almost six times and each time it paid more and more and more speed. When Mangalyaan was at its fastest speed, it was given the last push and with that push, Mangalyaan could escape the Earth's gravity. Since Earth orbits around the Sun, even the Earth's speed was added to Mangalyaan. In other words, Earth acted like hand throwing the slingshot. But you know what? When Mangalyaan escaped the orbit of Earth, it did not reach directly to planet Mars. Why? Because even Mars 
orbits around sun and that's the reason mangalyaan could not reach planet mars directly so you know what the scientists had to be really really very creative they had to throw mangalyaan far ahead so that both mangalyaan and planet mars they are in the space at the same time in the same position mars was over here when mangalyaan was launched mangalyaan's path to mars mangalyaan caught mars over here 10 months later earth moves in orbit around the sun mars moves in orbit around the sun too it's a long long way to mars you all know how powerful mangalyaan was it traveled for 300 days for 620 million kilometer oh my god that's such a long distance mangalyaan traveled over such a long journey it was very important that the spaceship stay on the right track otherwise it could easily miss mars mangalyaan could tell where it was by the position of the stars around it it sent this information back to mission control on earth here mathematicians checked to see whether the spaceship was still on the right path when needed they sent signals to the spaceship telling it to fire its engines and correct its path can you see dish to talk to earth at number 1 Number 2 was the fuel tank and number 3 was the solar panel to power the ship's electronics. After many many months Mangalyaan was almost there. However, you know what happened? With just few days left, the Mars gravity started pulling the spaceship towards it with its own gravity and all the scientists were very tense and very troubled and they were wondering what would happen now. Children, do you know Mars is also known as red planet. So as this spaceship was near during the red planet it had to slow down so that it could enter the orbit of this planet red planet the planet mars do you know what this entire process had to be planned very systematically and carefully otherwise the spaceship could have simply banged into planet mars or it could have escaped and flew away somewhere far off into the space and the mission would have been a big failure it was a very very tense moment for everyone everyone was their finger crossed what will happen we want this mission to be very very successful however to everybody's surprise and happiness on september 24 year 2014 the spaceship could enter the orbit of this planet mars very successfully it was a very very big achievement organization you know what children even today mangalyaan orbits around the planet mars and it keeps sending pictures back to earth children can you see this is an actual photograph taken by mangalyaan we still don't know for certain whether there is or ever was life on mars but isn't it amazing that we could reach a destination so far up there now we can even dream of sending humans into space do you all know isio is working on a new spaceship which can carry even humans into space it is called as gaganyaan gaganyaan will take few years to be ready and take three people on it into the space would you like to be there then stay ready so children that was the story of mangalyaan i hope you all enjoyed this wonderful story however i have some wonderful vocabulary words to share with all of you let's learn about these vocabulary words what is gravity It is the force that pulls all objects to each other. The moon and earth pull each other, so do the sun and earth. 
However, the heavier an object is, the greater its gravity. This is why small things like this stone fall to the ground. The much heavier earth pulls the stone to itself with its high gravity. The stone also pulls earth to itself but the stone's gravity is so small that earth moves only a very very tiny amount that is not noticeable. What is an orbit? When I throw the stone, earth's gravity still pulls it but the stone travels a bit before falling to the ground. When I throw it harder, it travels farther before falling. But what if I could throw it really, really hard? Can you think of what would happen? At just the right speed, the stone will travel all the way around Earth and keep going. It will have entered into orbit. In this exact manner, Mangalyaan was placed in orbit first around Earth, then around Mars. In space, lighter objects orbit around heavier objects due to gravity. Like the moon around Earth and Earth around the sun, orbits are generally elliptical or oval in shape. Alright children, so that were the few vocabulary words which I wanted you all to know about. I hope you understood these vocabulary words a little. In case you did not, please take help of your parents and do some research and try to learn more about space and the vocabulary words related to space. And wait for me till I come back with another interesting story. In case you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do not forget to hit the bell button, subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos. Thank you so much once again.